As long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night will never cease. Life is as a seed. Be not deceived. God cannot be mocked. Whatever a man sows, that he shall reap. Another drama filled day back at home. We woke up this morning and the pig was out of his style. So we have been struggling to get the pig back into its style. I'm not really used to seeing a pig out of his style like this. Like, whenever I see the pig, it's inside a fence and I know that it cannot get close to me. So this was really strange. After trying all we could to no success, mommy decided to call one of my uncles to come help us get the pig inside. And then that was all oh well. While that is happening, we have to get back to our regular morning activities. And when we wake up in the morning, you want to make sure you light the fire. And I don't really know about your own Cameroonian mommy, but using the cooker in the dry season when there is wood, ha, my mother will kill you, she will kill you. So you have to make the fireplace and do whatever stuff you want to do in the morning. And this basically is like palm nut chaff. It just helps the fire to grow faster. Daddy and I now go for foraging. We go to pick fruits, popo, pears, plantain, bananas, everything that is ready for consumption. And now there's so many pear trees in the house with not a lot of people to eat them. So basically these pears are going to be eaten by the pig and whoever comes visiting could have some. Mommy and Uncle Evaristus then discovered that the pig left its style because uh, it got visited by some ants. So there's some ants in the style and they're causing some discomfort for the pig so it had to find its way out. Kelly is the mother of the house. She recently had some babies that are really, really grown up right now and currently she is pregnant and expecting a new set of babies. So more baby pigs for mama. When Kelly put to birth, we were all shocked. As in she is this black, this black woman. Eh? And then she born not only metis them, only white, white, white pigs. <laughs> I usually watch movies and I notice that pigs are pets for some people, like they let them come into their house. Crazy. Now this is one of Kelly's children. This is Rudy because she's Rouge and the other one is Gretel. Yes, Rudy and Gretel. <laughs> So they're basically just two piglets now. The other ones were sold. And while Mama Kelly puts to bed, I think mommy is going to expand the style and have more babies around, you know. Test all your food. <laughs> Today I'm making pepper soup okra and fufu and this fufu guys it's not 
corn fufu. It's basically like kumkum mixed with rice powder. So cassava flour and rice powder mix. It's like, oh my God, if you eat it, you're going to. It's so delicious. We've not had lights for a few days now and the network just keeps coming and going, coming and going. So I'm really, really getting used to not having electricity around. Same old thing when you come down to Bamenda. I went to the pepper bush to check for pepper, but apparently no pepper is ripe. So I'm going to use dried pepper for my pepper soup okra. Now this meal is very simple to cook. Everything goes in at once and I don't even care about any protocol. Put everything at once, stare, it gets ready, serve, eat. Life is that easy. And generally, I hate cooking with protocol. Like any meal that has protocol, I'm just not in for it. I think the only meal that I get to use a particular protocol should be a roll, especially when I'm trying to make it remain green, of which I don't even get the point of that. Yeah. Food aesthetics. Food aesthetics. So food never really has protocol for me when I am cooking. I just do anyhow, any wasa wasa, and then you eat. I'm editing this video right now where I'm looking at this fufu. Oh my god, this fufu is delicious. As in, I was just tasting, tasting without the soup. Tasting, tasting, tasting. <laughs> and guys, at home, daddy said we should not eat without fruits. So anytime you want to eat, you should have fruits. Uh -huh. That's the culture and the tradition of the house. Anytime we want to eat, there must be fruits around. I guess that's why he planted a lot of trees in the house so that even the times when you don't have money to buy, you could always rely on the production, productivity of the trees at home. Yep, so my house basically has all kinds of trees, all kinds of fruits. Yep. And did I mention here that pineapple is my favorite fruit? As a pineapple, I have mango. Like pineapple. I love the pineapple. Oh my god, I love pineapple and this is just basically a little part of the day we have come to the end of the video if this video made sense to you please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel share and i will see you all in my next video bye bye